Did you guys know that our friend, the Super Nintendo here, can output through its multi AV out an S video signal? Now, here's the thing S video's been out since, you know, the 1980s, and it really can give you a much better picture than, you know, the composite that people have been using. You know, throughout pretty much all of the 90s, we've, we've all been using, you know, this composite here, this composite video, this single yellow video cable. We've all been using it because that's what came with our NES, and that's what came with our N64, and that's what came with our Dreamcast, and that's even what came with our Xbox and our PlayStation 2s. We've been living off these things for the last 15 years. And my question to you is why? Now, this is an S-Video Jack. Most of your TVs in the late 90s, you know, had these on it. If you had a really high-end TV in the early 90s, then you would have had this on it. But I understand most of us didn't have really high-end TVs. Most of us just had, you know, cheap or average TVs. But by the late 90s, most of us had S-Video on even our average televisions. And we were still using this. So here's basically the difference between the two. Our composite video carries the entire video signal through one signal lead. The S-Video, if you look inside, it has four pins inside. Now it's actually only using two of those pins, but what it's doing is it's separating the video signal, and it's sending the video signal to the TV as both a color signal and basically a contrast signal. So the TV is essentially getting two separate uh, signals for the video. This gives you a much cleaner picture. The contrast is so much better. The bleeding between pixels is almost eliminated completely. With this you have immense bleeding between the pixels. The colors basically blend together, and the pixels don't stand out. With this, your contrast is increased. Uh, you're going to notice right away, especially on, uh, you know, bright fonts on a dark background or vice versa, is how much crisper f your your text is going to be. But here's a cable that I picked up for fifteen dollars, and I think I've showed you guys this cable before. Maybe not, but I picked up this cable here. Believe it or not, in Blockbuster Video, it was $15. This cable does your Super Nintendo, N64, GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. So instead of using the stock cables that they came with, for $15 you can have all of these systems on S video. I'm going to give you guys an example of the difference that the quality makes. I'm going to use this TV, I'm going to use this Super Nintendo, I'm going to use this cable. I'm going to switch between the composite video and the S video. I'm going to use this camera on macro mode with no flash. I'm going to take a couple screenshots of Street Fighter 2 and then take a quick video and I'm going to show you how much more defined the pixels look. And um, and then you guys are going to understand that uh, you really should go out and get one of these cables if you're still using this. So here we go, you can see the S-Video up top and the composite video down below. Once again, like I said, the pixels are much more defined on the above picture. You can almost see the individual pix pixels. On the bottom, it's kind of all bleeding together. So once again, here you can see the pixels are all bleeding together. I'm going to wipe over to the S video. And as you can see, much more definition in the pixels. They all stand out on their own. Very clean. Much cleaner picture. 
So once again, this is the composite video. Pixels are very blurred together. Moving over to the S video, as you can see in the wipe, once again, the pixels are just much more defined. And um, like I said, there's a huge noticeable difference. It's definitely worth having S video if you can use it. Fortunately, most of us aren't using this anymore because most of the systems now have gone to high definition. So you've had to get either your component cables or your you know HDMI cable. If you've got a PlayStation 3 or an Elite Xbox 360 or even the later 360s, they're HDMI, uh, which is of course a digital picture uh, with you know your 1080 high definition support.